Okay, I'm uh, going to run through the uh, interactive physics simulation uh, for collision studies to get you the data since we're having trouble with the program. Um, I'm uh, setting, going to set for each trial, I'm going to set the mass and velocity for the cue ball and the mass and the velocity for the eight ball. And then uh, up here on the meters, you'll be able to see the new velocities after the collision. Uh, you can pause it and write that information down here sorry, here under velocity and then calculate the momentum, here under velocity of the eight ball and calculate the momentum. Again, the eight ball is the black ball on the right, cue ball is the white ball on the left. So on our first one, it's one and one and one and zero. And it's a nice slow one to start. And there are our answers afterwards, zero and one. Okay, uh, here's the second trial. They're gonna run together. It's a 2 and 1, we get negative 0.67, I'm going to round off the two figures, and negative 1.33. I'm oh, sorry, positive 1.33. Uh, to the right being positive, to the left being negative. Okay, we're on trial number 3. Alright, after it's 1 for the cue ball and positive 4 for the 8 ball. Okay, trial number 4, they're heading toward each other, and they bounce back off. And it's negative 2 and the one. So one's to the right, one's to the left. Okay, trial five. Boom, big movement to the left, negative five meters per second. Eight ball moving to the right at one meter per second. Okay, trial six. Bing, another big jump backward, negative 4.33 and positive 2.67. Okay, trial number seven. Bounce, another big bounce. We've got uh, Negative four and positive two. Trial number eight. Boom, going back. Uh, negative two and positive four. Okay, and here we are at trial number nine. And we get negative 4.57 and negative 5.7 uh, for the eight ball. Okay, so that allows you to fill in table two for the first question. Um, elastic type collisions. The elasticity is set at one, that means they're bouncing off each other. An elastic collision, both the momentum and the kinetic energy will be conserved. Okay, I've changed the page to inelastic collisions. I've changed the elasticity to zero. In an inelastic collision, the momentum is conserved, but the kinetic energy actually goes down, it's turned into other forms. I'm going to do the same thing, I'm going to set these values. I'll run the simulation and you'll be able to get these values and then calculate your uh, momenta for each object. Okay, here's trial number one. Uh, again, they're slow when it's going in at one meter per second. They make contact and it's 0 .654, 0 .65 and 0.69. Two things are moving off, and they're both positive. Trial number two, heading in, they hit, they stick, and we're both at one. Okay. Both are one meter per second. And here's trial number three. Uh, after they hit, they both move it to the right, 0 0.57, 0 0.58, and 0.61. Trial number four. Ooh, they hit, they stuck, and they both stopped. So that's zero, zero. All right, trial five. They hit, they're going to move to the right. Point four, one, point four, five. All right, trial number six. They hit, and they're going to move to the right at point one, five. Pretty much both one, five for both of them rounding them off. Okay, trial number seven, they hit and stick and stop again as they did in trial number four, zero, zero. Trial number eight, Ooh, they're hitting and moving to the right at a very slow speed, about 1.4 or 1.7. Okay, and finally trial number nine, hit and stick, and they're both moving at negative 1.6. Okay, so now that you've got this uh, velocity data here, 
you should then be able to calculate your momentum of the cue ball after the collision occurs and the momentum of the uh, eight ball using its velocity after the collision and then you'll be able to compare the momentum of the system which again is the system here is made up of two uh, balls the cue ball and the eight ball uh, the, it's not the individual momentum of each ball that should be conserved it is the momentum of the system that should be conserved uh, once you've done that make sure you fill in this prediction table and uh, we'll check that uh, first thing in class to see uh, how you're doing. And that's it.